There's Old Faithful. Welcome to your new home. Hope you like it. Maybe you won't spend so much time in the corner here, Faithful. <laughs> Man, you sure made a mess of this thing, Joey. Rip the left side up. My goodness. Yeah, I'm telling you what. Oh, it ain't that bad. We got to go through our left front. You think something might be bent? Uh, we're going to we have to look at it. Definitely got in into you right behind it. Maybe it missed the tire. We are coming off of a two-night race weekend in Georgia. Well, Tennessee slash Georgia. Up at Boyd Speedway. We raced with the World of Outlaws this past weekend. Uh, didn't do any good the first night. The second night, second night we were better. And we were running... 16th somewhere around in there when that happened and uh, they're late in the race and we ended up scored 18th and considering how slow we were the first night we'll take that for the second we're night. gonna try this spot this time maybe we won't have so much water trying to get into the shop i like that idea jordan how bad are you missing the uh the awning at my house pretty bad <laughs> i know i feel for you brother start dropping them off there washing them yeah they bring them over here yeah. yeah we can look into that i don't know we'll see the good news is it's 80 degrees today and not 100 degrees so you got that going for you it's not too bad. no it's it's very nice which way does the which way does the cut go all right. right side all right. speaking of the weather someone said there's a hurricane headed towards florida y'all heard about it yeah yeah seen and heard Oh, come on now. Thank you to everyone who has messaged, emailed, commented, called even to let us know about the hurricane. The good news for us is it's headed to the peninsula of Florida. Bad news for the peninsula. We are in the panhandle of Florida, so we might dodge this one. Yeah, well, people don't understand the, like, we can drive to Chicago quicker than we can drive to Miami from here. Yeah. People don't understand that. You got it? All right, coming down. Yeah. I like it if y'all like it. So the people down there will have to watch out. I think we're going to be okay, and we're going to continue for now as planned. And the plan is for this weekend to go race with the World Outlaws again at Sonoy Raceway in Georgia. Who knows if the storm will affect that, but we should be good here, maybe georgia will be okay or that part of georgia will be okay and we'll be able to race but if it changes we'll let y'all know we're gonna fix it or put it in the merch trailer uh, i think i can fix it uh, i'm gonna try sounds good to me Don't let it roll off into the drainage ditch there. Yeah. That might be a problem. That would not be good. We're thinking about cutting another one of these over here somewhere. That seems to work really well. If y'all saw last week when we washed the car, we got it. This comes up. This is uphill here. So we're thinking about cutting another one of them drainage areas right here. That or grind the concrete down if that's possible. Anyone ever done anything with that? We're too high on the end. Water builds up in here. Y'all know a good solution other than cutting the concrete out and redoing it. I don't think we're gonna do that. Let us know. Our other issue is our spigot was leaking. Good thing we got a water, former water technician here. Right? That's right. To handle that. Handle you it. take, you take oh, the grid right, right away? Was y'all take my dang tools or what? Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Jonathan was holding. I didn't want you to knock them off the top of that thing there. Get that tape on the right way? Nope. We're gonna find out in a minute. Put it where it's pointed up. No. <laughs> you didn't get one with the swivel mount? You get the swivel mount? Listen, I did upgrade us to a ball valve <laughs> instead of the thing you gotta twist 10 times. So that now works. it's just bam, bam, on off. Well, she just how much that cost? It was more expensive. No, <laughs> it was like 17 bucks. Yeah. So you just want to screw this on here, is what you're saying? Yep. And then, and then you just, you point it to, and then you pull the handle. <laughs> I'm going to go turn the water back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. 
We are in business now. Good water pressure and no leaks. Good job, water technician. Good show, I still got it. Okay, change of plans. Since we last spoke, they have canceled the race at Sonoya. The World Outlaws races for this weekend in the south were canceled because of the impending storm, which means we gotta back up and regroup. And what are we gonna do? What? I was telling them what happened. By the way, there's work going on in the other building over there. Is that what we're doing? I told them the races got canceled. Oh yeah. Sonoya canceled. Yeah. Which means it's good news for Jesse because now Jesse gets to go race. go race. So what we are going to do, Joseph and Jordan and Bradford are going to the old shop, my, my house, and getting the Faithful, the other crate car. And we're going to bring Faithful in here. We're going to pull the body off of the new car here, put that body on Faithful, and both Joseph and Jesse will race crate this weekend at Talladega Short Track. Still I missed another one. I mean, I missed. Huh? Oh, right there, Jesse. There it is. My bad. There we go. Now then. At least we won't have to deal with a droop this droop. weekend. No droop will. Hey, you can't park there. We're about to have to unload a race car. Give me a minute. Gotta unload my stuff. My podcast in a box. Your what? Podcast in a box. Podcast in a box. This is where we're gonna record our podcast now? For today. That's gonna have a nice backdrop. Yeah, that's what I thought. Although a little better with a side on that car. We'll get Faithful rolled in there and get the side on it before we record. Good idea. It's seen better days. I think this nose came original yeah, with this car. Oh. I think. That nose bar. I don't know. The nose bars came on this car. I don't remember ever changing them, honestly. I don't so that's, that's a good run. Now you said something, you're going to run over somebody. And well, I knocked the hell out of that tire at Magnolia. <laughs> He's lined up. That almost lines up. I oh, see yeah. some holes. You're good. So Jesse last raced this thing at Magnolia. Bumped the, nudged the uke tire there. That's what we were just fixing. And last time, actually last time we were at Talladega, you raced there, Jesse. I think last year when you ran the 602 yeah. race. They had a big 602 race there last year. Jesse ran. Uh, they're working next door. They had a big 602 race there last year, Jesse ran. I think we ran like sixth or seventh or something. Yeah. You set you were second in qualifying. Started on the front row. Slid backwards away. I was still new. This was my first that was my very first out of time, time out of town. Right. That was when the track was slick. I it learned. got slick and you had to figure out how to drive it. I learned a lot that day. Yep. Anyway, he slid slid back out of the top ten. Got got it figured out. Got it back under him. And I think ended up six or seven. Like something six like that. Seven. So good experience there, and should be good experience this weekend. They're gonna be a power. Car. Yeah, there's gonna be. A, that's Talladega always has a good field of 604 for a big race. They'll be over 50. 40 to 50, I would oh, I say. Said over 50. Well, you better be on your toes. Yeah, I'm gonna close that door. We'll go over there and look. I'll show you what they're working on. I know y'all can hear them over there working on the other end there. We'll go over there and look at the end of the video. I'll show you what's going on on the other side of the shop. All right, we move that one over there. 
freed up our spot here. And now Joseph and them are back with the other car. Y'all crank it up? That hasn't been cranked in a while. Yeah. She might not want to run. Alright, get it go. Oh yeah. That's that crank mode. Yeah. You got it over here. Clear by a mile. There's old faithful. Welcome to your new home. Hope you like it. Maybe you won't spend so much time in the corner here, Faithful. <laughs> this car has been at my house, and the last time, we haven't run it since Sonoya. That, July. July, yeah, something like that. Ran second, should've won at Sonoya. Hadn't run it a whole lot this year, not since we got the new car anyway. Yeah, you got plenty. Hold your, hold your side a little bit, leave us some room to work in front of these other cars. It does, it does. Mm -hmm. You a skateboarder? Okay, I can tell. Here's a look of what it looks like in here with three race cars. I think we'll still have room even with four. Yeah. It'll be kind of tight. Y'all remember we Betty's yeah, still in the top. In the you put one more there, or you could put one right there. Your call. Yeah. But I think we can make it work. Remember, Betty is still in the top of the trailer, our fourth car up there. We will have to unload Betty before, right before we load up this car, Jesse's car, to go to Talladega Friday. So a couple weeks ago, we swapped over from LM tires to 1300s and 16, or 1350s and 1600s. Now we get to swap from our 1350s and 1600s to our crate tires. Yeah. So, always fun. Days worth of work just swapping tires. Oh, look at that crate engine. Yeah, that is one of our Race Tech 604 crate engines. This one was fresh at the beginning of the year, and I don't think we've run it but a handful of times. Twice. Twice. Run one 3000 with it at southern and then ran second in a 3000 at sonoya so it's a pretty good piece yep. we're gonna swap fans yeah well we might not have to since the weather's it's cooling weather's off. cooler that, that little fan um, wasn't quite I enough in july was this thing here so can chill. this thing ran a little warmer than our last than we wanted in our last race worried maybe the fan too small but also i think we're gonna leave the fan and we're gonna put a better hose on here that doesn't do all this number maybe that was our problem wasn't getting the water flow we needed didn't this come off of this car you know i think we took it off have. of this That's car sure before the door the door trip the quarter, though. Yeah, the quarter's okay. there the doors i don't know this car what was it a race Everything's a race, John. Like a fox body car, like, hey, that guy coming that four wheel drive truck? I ain't coming if he's coming. That's bull crap. Let him race. Three cars coming with yeah. He goes, I ain't going. Listen, you're being satirical, but that's how it goes. Is they will kick out a loyal racer in favor of three people that have never been to the racetrack before, but are <laughs> on the fence about it. Yeah. I don't know if I can use that in video material, but okay. Yeah. Um, Ain't gotta work. This? Yeah. Don't have to. What? Oh, that's all we got? You might could trade it with Jesse's. His is better. No. <laughs> no. Is that your feature tire? That's your good tire? All weekend. <laughs> so that's not complete, but we wanted to stick that up there so we could have a good background for our podcast. We're about to get it? I'm working on it. Technology. Well, at least we got a nice, nice <laughs> yes. view behind us instead of just the wall at the other place like where it. we were. Yeah, I like it. You can watch and or listen to the podcast over on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash hunt the front. We try to do it weekly. We've been on the road lately, so we missed a few weeks. But podcast, brand new podcast. By the time you are seeing this video, we'll be over on Patreon where we discuss getting moved into here and the big trip to Eldor in February as well as this past weekend at Boyd's. And we preview Talladega. I wanted to bring y'all over here real quick before we go and give y'all a look at our other building over here. This side is actually a little bit bigger than over there, but over here we're going to put our apparel where we pack box up and ship out hats and t-shirts and all that. We're going to put it right here 
with a couple of offices and then on the other side of the wall we're going to have extra shop space uh, warehouse space if you will both for storage for the shop and storage for the merchandise center we've already made a mess of things over here but anyway here pretty soon whenever you order a t-shirt or a hat or hoodie or whatever from htfmerch.com it'll be coming from right out of here right next door to the race shop you good i got it all right for now we're going to record our podcast and then we're going to get back in here and get to work tomorrow and get ready to go to talladega short track crate racing usa we'll be taking both cars joseph in the 10 faithful there jesse over here in the htf1 you can watch it live on crate racing usa tv we'll leave a link in the description where you can watch us live both joseph and jesse at talladega friday and saturday night thank y'all for watching like comment subscribe and we will see y'all later